What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here and today I'm bringing you another video and this is on how to enable the debug menu on your 176 console. So originally you can do this but there are many many errors when enabling the debug menu and when you access different options it will probably bring an error to the screen. Now with this patch there are no errors, all the errors are gone, they're completely fixed and it works a treat so you can access the debug menu and you can access all of the options. So you're obviously going to need a one. 176 PlayStation 4 console. You're going to need the patch which is in the description below and Netcat GUI which is what I'm going to be using to inject the patch. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open Netcat GUI. Again this will be in the description below. Make sure you have the correct IP address for your PlayStation 4 and leave the port as default which is 9023. Simply drag and drop the payload into the box like so. And now on the PlayStation 4 we can go ahead and and head over to the WebKit Playground. So go over to the internet browser and then access the PS4 Playground of your choice. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and go over to code execution and hit go. And now it says waiting for payload. And now what we want to do is simply click on inject payload. You'll now see that the stage now says not started. That means it's successfully been injected. Now what we're going to do is press the PSN button on the middle of your controller. Make sure you do that otherwise this will not work. Go over to system settings and then you should see at the very bottom debug settings. Boom there we have it. We now have debug settings enabled on our 176 console and just to show that it doesn't error if we click on something there we go. We have network, network emulation. We have all of the different options here. Obviously I don't know what half of this stuff does but obviously if you do then you can enable it and if we go over to package installer you can see that no packages are found and that is because I don't have any packages stored on the hard drive or on a USB stick so I probably am going to be making a future video on how to install package files as well so be sure to look out for that. So that is pretty much it guys a very very simple and easy tutorial on how to enable the debug settings without errors on your PlayStation 4 176 console. I hope I've helped in a way comment rate subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.